Hello, and welcome back to a series of videos where I fall on my face, trying my hardest to get a startup uh, deployed in a week. In a week. Um, basically, I have off for all of Thanksgiving week 2018, and I want to get a web application deployed. Um, the next step to get my web app application deployed um, is not making the web application, is actually deploying it out to Netlify and hooking it up with the domain that I bought on Google Domains in the first video of this series. So um, I just want to show you exactly what the uh, web application looks like. It's literally a page that says, Welcome to Next.js right now. So if I get that, um, if I see that when I visit 12weeksofgreatness.com at the end of this video, I will have succeeded. So um, let's just look at the application. And yes, it looks something like this. Welcome to Next.js. Uh, now with Next.js to um, actually export into a static HTML application, I'll be using this small little tutorial here uh, just so you can follow along at home. I will not be cloning the demo, um, so I will continue on. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is actually export the index page, the only page that I do have. I'll uh, create a file called next.config.js next in my root, and then add this to my script. So it'll be an export script uh, that calls next export. So let's add uh, next.config.js, and that belongs in my root. And that looks something like this. Uh, perfect. So that'll export the um, the index.js uh, page. And let's see. The next thing I do want is my uh, next export export uh, script in package.json. Okay. So we did that, and I'll be running npm run build and npm run export to make sure that's running correctly. So let's go out of here, npm run export, and we'll see how that looks. Uh, the next thing that they, while that gets all built and ready to go, I actually want to install what they uh, told me to install is serve the npm module. And I'll be installing that actually with, um, I'll be using MPX to run this, this um, command right here. So let me go to, let's see, the out folder is all built, and that's our, um, our index.html right there. So I'll be serving that on the, nope, I think I did that wrong. Sorry, yep, serve p8000. So mpx serve p8000. And in case you don't know what mpx is, it's a, um, what I understand, it's pretty new. It's a package runner. We don't have to do um, npm install serve hyphen g to install globally. Um, mpx serve um, hyphen p, mpx does it all automatically. It, it installs the, the package uh, globally and runs it for you. So we're right here, localhost 8000, and let's see if we get a similar app. I really do hope so. Welcome to Next.js. Perfect. We have it all ready to build um, for Netlify to build and have a static uh, HTML application, which is exactly what I want for the time being. I do not want a server. Again, I want to use the Firebase server and database combo. So let's go ahead and um, start with initializing our GitHub repository. So our repository name will be 12 Weeks of Greatness. I'll take the description from my package.json there and uh, paste it there. Perfect. I'm going to make it a public repository just so all of you at home can follow along. Um, I'm going to stop serving it here and out. And in the root of my project, I'm going to run git init to initialize an empty uh, git repository. Um, I do need to make a git ignore. So make the git ignore because I'm tracking way too many files right now. And I'll use the uh, next.js uh, git ignore that they have created here. 
Um, that's just out of laziness. I don't know exactly what to get ignore right now. So I'll ignore what Next.js ignores. Sounds easy to me. I do not want to ignore the package lock, uh, JSON. Um, I just don't like doing that. I like to upload that along with my repository. So there we go. We ignored uh, everything we want to ignore there. And we have a uh, export script written in our package JSON that we can give to Netlify and that they can run. So I think we are ready to make our very first commit. To be honest, I also want to... Um, we are outputting to out and not necessarily dist. So we want to ignore that. And okay, so everything there looks good. This is exactly what we want to um, commit here. So let's see, git commit, initial commit, and we'll copy and paste this here. Oh, I can just click this copy because we are pushing an existing project uh, from our command line to GitHub. So I'm going to copy and paste all that and push it up to the GitHub. So with that, um, I think we're all ready to uh, try and get this GitHub repository running on Netlify. That's the first step. We need to host it on Netlify, and then from there, I can connect it to my uh, the Google domain that I purchased, again, in the first video. From here, let's go ahead and go to netlify.com. Um, so, no, I don't want to use that website. As I'll be referring to that if and when I totally mess this up. Um, let's go to netlify.com. I'll log in here. And when we're all logged in, you'll see on the top right that uh, there's a new site from Git button. I'll click that. Uh, log into GitHub and... Here, you'll see at the top, 12 weeks of greatness, and they ask for a build command. Now, um, to build with Next.js, we need, first need to build the um, application, and then we need to run the export command. So our build command will actually be a combination of two build commands. We'll uh, run npm run build, and then after that succeeds, we'll run npm run export. The published directory is the out directory that I served the website from, if you remember. And that's it. We'll click deploy here, and we'll be sent over to this uh, screen. Now, this will take some time, so I'm going to stop the video right here, and I'll be back with the magic of YouTube in one second. Okay, it's all done deploying. Let's uh, check to make sure that it's exactly what we want. And here is my amazing application. Welcome to Next.js um, at vigorous Meitner, etc., etc., .com. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. The next thing we want to do is connect this uh, host to the Google domain that we bought earlier. So let's set up a uh, custom domain. The domain is uh, 12 weeks of greatness.com and we'll click verify. Uh, it already has an owner. Is it me? Yes, it is. So um, here, when you click that, yes, I am the owner, uh, it says, no, this is not what we want there. Nor is this, there we go. Set up Netlify DNS for 12 weeks of greatness.com. Uh, verify. Yes, add domain. And I think step two is what we want. Yes, so update your domain name so servers. We'll need to use all this here uh, and log in to Google Domains and change the name servers to this, exactly what I copied here. Um, so we'll go to our Google Domains website. We'll click Configure DNS. And here on the name servers, we're going to use Custom Name Servers. Paste everything in, press Save. Uh, let's see, invalid name server. So I guess what they want is us to add them one by one. The space delimiter does not work, so we'll do it like this. Okay, there, saved. All right, perfect. Um, we're all saved. 
here on the Google domain side. Let me tell Netlify that we're all done. And let's see if this is working. Welcome to Next.js on 12weeksofgreatness.com. Um, as I said earlier in the video, this is the uh, demonstration of success that I wanted to see. I wanted to make sure that, uh, again, I deployed uh, the website to Netlify and I hooked up that hosting over to Google Domains. Uh, everything works on 12weeksofgreatness.com. We're well on our way to making a great web app, uh, even though it looks a little, um, let's call it unimpressive. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little bit about um, deploying a website to your uh, domain. And I hope it's uh, easy enough for you to get started there. If you like this video, please click like. If you like all of my videos, please sub sub click subscribe. If you want to see m more of me um, making this startup, uh, trying to make this startup, or um, perhaps failing at the end, I will definitely show that. If I do, please click subscribe. Uh, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Until next time, this is the Web Dev Coach. Peace.